Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to our classes. We are in the third chapter and myself is CMA Vikita here. Come across the strategy management lectures that is the marathon videos all for you. The strategy management marathons uh, that is only for the CMA students. Uh, this is purely for the CMA students and basically we have made it for them why? Because it will be very easy for them to go ahead with the flow of how do you understand with strategy, what is management, what is vision, what is mission, then what are the goals, what are the objectives, and many, many things. Make sure that you watch the lectures from the starting till now. Why? Because there is a linkage. Every video of mine, I say you that you watch the before videos also because it is very much important that you watch it with a proper flow or else it will be a big confusion in your mind. Now, let's directly start with the subject. Before I go ahead, I would like to introduce that myself is a CMA, Vikita. I'm a cost and a management accountant by profession. And here I have come for you, like, you know, to make things easy for you, to make the CMA inter strategy management easy for you. So we brought some lectures. I mean, the marathons are for you. The playlist is already been made. You can just check the playlist and go on. Please like and share and subscribe. Give your pure feedback, real feedback, because it helps us in many ways of doing more good for you people. Okay. So yeah, come on with a hit. Big breathe. Let's take a big breath and with a happy smile, start with our class. So the before video, which we had completed, was about the preventive and, you know, excess capacity. I had told you this is an important question. This can, uh, this is an important question. It can come in exam. They directly ask about what are the two important parts of maintenance of ma machine and equipment. It can be an MCQ, it can be a FIB, it can be a four marks question asking about the short note on this and this. So make sure that you remember it. It is important. Carrying excess capacity method speaks about you have a spare part. Preventive maintenance means you, you are trying to think about maybe that particular part or the project can be in defect and uh, be because of that thinking or the thought process you're trying to change the ch change that particular method or the machine or the world tore out or the particular place or of the machine so you're doing a preventive measure right like for example uh, you, uh, for example think that you know you are get you are thinking that you're going to catch cold you're thinking you're not got cold but yeah you are thinking so when you're thinking it means that maybe somewhere you're feeling in your body and your sensation of th of throat as well as the nozzle blockage you're thinking that there can be a cold which which can come to you in one two days so what do you do normally what do you do you always obviously you're going to check on it and have hot water or you're going to do gargling or you need to have some preventive medicine for it so that you don't get the cold right so that is what the example of preventive maintenance is now coming to the carrying excess capacity method carrying excess capacity capacity method means uh, your phone you're, ta you're taking the phone uh, with your, like, you know, while you're going, obviously nowadays everyone, this is an important ingredient, a part of our life, right? So without phone, we it, it seems as if we don't exist. So what happens is we have taken the phone and we have gone for a long drive. We have not taken the charger. Uh, so what you what happens is you obviously try to find out some other ways of putting on your phone for charge and you see luckily that you have already carried on a <clears throat> power bank so what is it it is an excess capacity you have spare part on it and then you're adding on and then you're putting the charge so this is the example simple example which i felt that it will be easy to you easy easy for you to connect so this one you can say is phone charge Okay, and then we have preventive maintenance is uh, catch of uh, got cold. <clears throat> okay, so just example. Now coming to the topic called the 
marketing department strategy as we all know the marketing department strategy is one of the most important area of the company or the organization or the firm whichever the firm is whichever the company is marketing department is necessary right now for example I now I take my classes now if I do not do marketing in YouTube nor I pro, like you know if I do not provide my uh, free classes or free marathons or if I do not provide any free notes how will you people get to know that I have this much of capacity of teaching or I am able to teach so nicely right you cannot know in the same way I need to do my marketing in this way with my lectures or with providing some small small shorts or some small videos on related topic if I don't do then I am outdated right or else my product can never be sold in the same way if any particular product we are launching or any any company is doing any service or goods or uh, by goods or through service okay it can be any part marketing is very necessary until unless there is no marketing it doesn't go well you cannot know about the product you can never understand about the advantages or disadvantages of the product so marketing is a very very important uh, you know crucial part of the whole all the departments okay so here what uh, before we go into the marketing department now let's let's bit understand about what is market now you can say like you people must be thinking that what is market now think think on it market means what a place where you exchange of goods right now for example i i go uh, to a shopkeeper asking for a novel i ask for a novel this is the novel which i want to uh, buy now what i do is i go to a bookstore right i go to a bookstore and i say that uh, bhaiya mujhe ye wala book chahiye mujhe i need this book right so when i say this uh, it say they say that uh, ma'am it is costing you 299 rupees they see it here and um, 299 rupees and you need to give me 299 rupees now the mode of exchange can be cash credit card debit card phone pay upi uh, this so many uh, ids can be click, uh, can be done there can be through wallet through any amazon pay this pay that pay so many pays right so now what is happening is there is a medium of exchange what is going the buyer is giving you the product and you uh, sorry the seller is giving you the product and the, uh, the buyer that is me i am buying the product by giving something in return it can it should be an consideration right so in the same way uh, it is a market is an arrangement that provides an opportunity of exchange of goods and services for money or money's worth right it is a means to settle the terms of exchange it is a means of settle the term of exchange this can see it you must be thinking the ma'am we know what is market yeah yeah everyone knows what is market but when it comes for explanation you never give me a proper uh, proper wording which is required see here i have put on this underline i have done underline i have done underline means these are the keywords remember it it is very necessary in strategy management or else in theoretical paper that you understand the language i mean the wordings and you should keep your mind stressed on that particular wordings or the keywords because they only fetch marks okay so it can come for a two marks what does it say what is market or it can come a market is a dash that provides dash so you can just fill in the blanks fib also can come but it uh, all set what is market you know yeah very good so but now let's go ahead with what is marketing now you know what is market we are doing what is marketing marketing means what is it is a process anything which is being uh, like you know it, it it is what it is a process market plus process is called marketing okay it is one of the function of management or one of the skill which helps your activities or your products to be got to the end user i mean if your product is being 
manufactured this is a product we are talking about if this product is being manufactured only being manufactured is something which we can know like as the outsider you me can anyone know about this product until unless this is being advertised this is being marketed this is being converted into different types of services where we can know about what this pro book speaks about why should i spend 299 rupees got it so that's what it is a function it is a function where it it it, it is uh, combining or it is making all the other resources and making aware the customers about what the product speaks about what the product is going to give in return and what are what are those things which can be better for the company okay so that's what is the market now marketing is a social process uh, by which the individuals and the groups obtain what they need and what uh, and what through creating and exchanging products and value with others okay so you i hope you have understood marketing is one of the social process why it is a social process because it connects directly with the society with the social cause with the with the people for the people and by by the people see anything which we are doing which a company is doing is for the people by the people and obviously just for the benefit of the people as well as as well as for a profitable position of that company in the uh, in the market right now, so the marketing is a process of exchanging, exchange involving the distinct, <clears throat> uh, involving two distinct aspects, namely mental and physical. See, it can be a two different ways of aspects. These two aspects can be uh, like, you know, uh, just because we literally leave some points and from those points only they ask you questions. So don't leave. Uh, try to try to connect easily faster pause whenever you feel and but uh, properly watch the videos okay now it is a process of finding see uh, this is underlined in a different color it speaks the process of finding out what a peep what people need helping to develop them satisfiers informing and persuading moving properly priced products and services to consumers and keeping the consumer satisfaction. End of the day, result is customer, customer, customer satisfaction. If customer is not satisfied, then it is a waste of doing marketing. Got it? So what? Uh, so I, I hope you understood what is marketing and uh, like you know why do we require marketing um, and why marketing strategy should be involved. Okay. Next coming is what is the role of marketing? Role of marketing. Role of marketing speaks about you know it's uh, three important points. These one. This is two. This is three which says about it stimulates the potential average demand. It increases the demand of that particular product. Next, it discovers the entrepreneurial talent. Now, first thing you must know that through this marketing, we can know n number of people's or uh, the way of learning or the way of uh, enjoying the new style. And there is new thought process of the young generation. So discovering this entrepreneur talent is very important through marketing. How? Because, you know, uh, this entrepreneur talent can speak about different ways, how customers should be satisfied. Now, you know, I'll give you one small, very nice example. Uh, we have one particular website is called uh, there called Bizgurukul. Okay, Bizgurukul. Now, in this uh, particular website, it is an organization. It is a it is an organization at Delhi. Okay, at Delhi. Now, what they do in this organization is they have a number of different different skills to be improved. How they improve it? They make it like a courses, small small short term courses. And it's so beautiful. They, they, they actually charge very less and very nominal charges are there for this particular one one courses. They have different different modules also. Each module has some seven, eight courses. Uh, other has 10 courses. If you buy the third module, then first, second are also free. They have so many ways of marketing strategies. So beautiful. I even show you also. Let me show you. And then only you will believe it, I guess. I, I'll just show you how it works. Okay. Uh, just check. 
see you have these courses like you have marketing uh, marketing mastery you have branding mastery you have n number of things so you have to put something here let me not put in on see you have different marketing uh, course then you have branding course and you have tra uh, traffic mastery course and these courses work good damn superb and how they do it they have n number of people who actually market for it now you have different different upskilling courses also like de in development there are different courses in business they are different courses in finance they have different courses i i also have one course here uh, this is one course of mine okay this is my course you can see uh, so i have just made one course that is called money management and here uh, what they do is they do this um, marketing i just have to make the course and as they do the marketing like you know uh, anyone who buys it gets some commission and it it works it works beautifully and they that is that is their style and they also bring on different different people's thought process telling that you bring out different different marketing strategies we'll give you some amount of uh, charge or commission so that the talent comes out right so the talent comes out in, in this gurukul there are n number of people n number of entrepreneurs like me there are n number who have got registered and they have also like you know joined some, there are some people who are joined courses and then learning from the courses they are applying to their own own uh, way like you know for example you want to learn a, a stock market you uh, you enter into the course and learn it and from that course also you can start earning okay so they have different different modules also that's that's how it works affiliate marketing is one type of start of uh, of uh, doing the marketing and so okay so that was about brief about entrepreneurial talent next comes is it helps in it helps in sustaining in uh, sustaining improving the existing level of employment like for example there is three levels right this is one level this is one level this is one level remember this is one level this one this one and this one right so we have three levels and in three levels there are employees who are working for it and we have to make sure that you are keeping and sustaining the same employees the employees should be very happy in the end of the day they should not be any like you know thought process that are ye company bekar hai yaar hum log nahi kaam karna mujhe itna kaam load dete hain na kuch chutti bhi nahi dete we don't go for a tea break this that you have so many complaints if you have so many complaints the employees have so many complaints it uh, they never satisfied and by the end of the day if there is no satisfaction of the employees they do not give a product activity of the work and if the productivity of the work is delayed then their the particular day schedule get delays there is n number of things which gets connected got it so that's how it is next comes is marketing objectives now we understood about the role of marketing we are going to understand about the objectives of marketing so it's it's very easy first objective is awareness of role of consumers awareness of role of consumers that is it's saying creating the role of consumers for decisions okay next comes overall corporate goal awareness it sh you should have the pro overall every particular uh, employee should know the objectives of the company i mean the vision the mission the goals the objectives the targets every employee must be known if the employees do not know it then it will never be an overall or a joint or a united go okay so it should be properly done next information and sensing information sensing and monitoring means it's saying about you, uh, there should be proper information which should be given to the employees and they should be benefited and they should also be getting cooperation from the company effect of new product on on profit whenever you are launching any new product see concern of introduction of new products and services to maintain the current potential profit position so these are some points creating the creating the role of consumers for decision innovation of the products and services for solving the consumer queries next focus on coordinating company effort that is what is company goals concern the external environment that is customers competitors and government then concern the introduction of new products and services to maintain the current potential got it this can be an important question everyone 
क्वेश्चन पूछ सकता है ये वाला लग तो लग तो रहा है मुझे इम्पोर्टेंट ठीक है पढ़ लेना थोड़ा अच्छे से ठीक है ये ये पॉइंट्स ही पूछेंगे पूछेंगे तो वही पॉइंट्स पूछेंगे और डायरेक्ट भी पूछ सकते हैं और एल से दे कैन गिव यू केस स्टडी एंड देन टेल यू दैट गिव गिव द ऑब्जेक्टिव और इनडायरेक्टली दे कैन आस्क यू वट वट कैन बी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपनी गॉट इट ओके okay super now going ahead uh, there is a small concept which we do not have in our book but yeah i thought of explaining it because it can be a question to be asked what is marketing mix marketing mix speaks about price place promotion and product when these four p's four p's combined together uh, price place promotion and product four p's combined together then it is called a marketing mix okay but what is expanded marketing mix means there is an addition for this particular there are two more that is physical evidence plus sorry three more three p's more that is people physical evidence and process okay now coming what is uh, what is selling and marketing concept okay this is a very 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 important if you want to take a break uh, just take a break uh, pause it have water and come back because you're going to understand it properly okay so yeah i think you people are back co with uh, a, a just a short to one minute to two minutes break let's continue with our selling and marketing concept which says about a very beautiful concept called selling and marketing and how it starts and what are the main parts of it we are going to understand with this particular uh <clears throat> flow chart which you have in our book uh, the study mat book also we have it if you are not using my material you can enjoy the lectures with the material which we have of the institute not a problem concept understanding is more important than going with the, my book this note that note nothing here you should understand the concept if you understand the keywords and the concept you can write it uh, very nicely in exam okay now coming to the selling concept what is selling concept first thing is uh, like in a, in selling concept the selling concept speaks purely about you know profits so uh, the end result should be profits and through a uh, profits can be done through lot of sales right that is the end result now how it can be started this is the end result everyone this is the end result where i'm holding the pen this is the end result and here which i have nothing <coughs> this is the <coughs> starting so obviously in selling concept what happens is a particular uh, product which has to be made it should be started from a factory so starting point of the selling concept is always a factory then coming in between is the products the products inside the factory should be made and the raw material should be into work in progress and then there should be closing of that particular goods and then there should be a uh, proper finished goods those finished goods should be sold and promoted that selling and promotion will lead to profits and sales got it concept understood first there should be factory in that factory there should product should be there the product should be properly maintained them with the machines machine um uh, men and uh, management okay uh, so these this important parts should be there and then the product the raw material will come into a finished goods this finished goods should be sold and promoted this promotion and selling can cause to lot of sales and lot of sales will bring profits that's what is given if you understand this flow you will never forget in life next what is marketing concept marketing concept only speaks about a market like you know focus is lot about customer satisfaction like focus is on market and the needs of customers the customer should be satisfied by the end of the day okay so the end result here is what customer satisfaction and this customer satisfaction will bring more more sales with the more sales there will be more profit first what should be done there should be a market which should be targeted means a place where the product should be sold okay and then after targeting that particular market you need to check whether what the customer needs according to the customer needs are you providing that particular marketing or coordinating the marketing with the customer needs and bringing them self satisfaction got it that's it so there is a 
like you know we just have a small uh, a difference between which can be asked because i think this is an important concept so just check it out it's saying about selling concept is a business notion this is a business orientation which talks about accomplishing organizational goals and then better becoming another and customer satisfaction see marketing concept remember very important how the flow is marketing concept what we read customer satisfaction so the main is customer satisfaction next comes is what uh, starting process is target market so just understand the flow focus is done on customer needs okay in selling concept what happens focus is uh, like you know end result should be profit and sales volume focus is on what focus is on see what is focus on see we have read it here focus is on the products being manufactured and then uh, there is sale of those products through selling and promotion okay that's what see factory is the starting starting point then ending point all those things you can write uh, focus on product focus on product needs inside out it is outside in short term it is long term volume oriented profit oriented selling selling uh, and high promotion integrated marketing cost of production and market determinations this is something which if you write it three marks to four marks comes make sure you write four points why because you never know one point can any time be wrong so the four points if three marks as you write four points if four marks as you write five points it's necessary and underline the main keywords then coming to social marketing what is social marketing social marketing speaks about like you know uh, like you know customer satisfaction long run customer welfare and in the society to have a profitable position in uh, having a good volume okay so it says about what it refers to design implementation control of program seeking uh, to increase the acceptable of social ideas or practice among the target group see it is saying about improvement of the society for the development of the society for customer customer orientation backed with integrated marketing aimed at generating customer set end result is customer satisfaction and long run customer welfare means making sure that particular customer who has bought that particular product or enjoyed the service must be the customer for uh, life long for end of the life okay social marketing creates a favorable image of, for the company and increases sales okay it is not the same as social media marketing it is not same as social media marketing okay it is closely related to the uh, csr and sustainable development which we have concepts which we have in our law uh, okay corporate social responsibility and sustainable development it calls for sustainable marketing and socially environmentally responsible marketing see this is an important word socially and environmental responsible marketing that meets the present needs of consumers and businesses while also per preserving or enhancing the ability of future generations to need the needs <coughs> meet the needs important concept two to four marks can come next comes what is the three important considerations in social marketing i feel that this is this can be a question three marks question and you write three points you get marks first is society second comes consumer then comes company now if you if you understand this three consideration there is a linkage now very important is until unless the cons, uh, the first consideration is society until unless there is human welfare like companies must make sure the products and services actions investment innovation serve the society first until unless the consumer is not set see there is no proper welfare of the com, uh, of the society welfare of the society insists not one two for a whole group and this welfare can be in any type it can be in investment it can be innovation it can be through different types of products which are they have brought okay second comes if a consumer is satisfied then we are like you know literally in the heights next comes is when these both are done when we have lot of consumers we obviously will have company profits and more of sales volume got it understood everyone <clears throat> super now uh, this concept we'll understand is about uh, 
social marketing we have some more questions just read those questions it says about some objectives these are some objectives if you are actually doing the social uh, social marketing concept using the social marketing concept these are some uh, objectives which actually benefits the society first is it uh, to maintain a long term relationship with customer next to create a better image next to carry out social responsibility to develop community awareness which is very important next comes to increase the consumer base consumer base and the market share then social marketing should be done next it aids in customer retention like the customer should be there for many years like for example i i am uh, i like you know i like eating top ramen many like eating hippy many like eating maggi right i am a i am a customer of top ramen why because i like the taste i i literally feel that over the others top ramen is better so i am what i am the person who who is being there for a long term and i have uh, the top ramen has like me customers and these type of customers are called customer retention customer retention people where they are there for a longer term relationships okay then economic resource there is more and better use of economies efficient effective use okay then uh, better living standard then economic planning for fruitful of the society so if you remember so many other if you remember four to five more than enough <clears throat> so how do you remember see remember easy points first better image next comes is it is helpful for social responsibility it brings uh, social awareness then you write is community awareness then you write, then you write is economic resources are used properly then you write is there is customer retention standard of living becomes big so this is how you are you know uh, see one two points you get all four five points four five points you don't have to remember only two points you remember you can re remember more five points fine so what is the advantage what is the need what can be benefits of the social marketing so social marketing is very important for the society for the environment and for the business s e b s e b it it helps to tackle the consumerism means making sure the consumer protection is there consumer awareness is there come on community awareness is there consumer customer retention is there and using the economic resources is also there the above objectives are there now this objectives only you can put here okay like you know you just want to describe you can write those points next uh, the profit only motive of the business is there it encourages the development of products then it it helps in benefiting long run and satisfy consumers see easy all related but yes there is a thin line of gap between advantages and objectives objectives means there is something which a social marketing uh, concept speaks about like you know it it wants to do it in the concept but advantages is after doing it what are the benefits which we are getting what is the what is something uh, something advantage we are getting something add on we are getting after using the social marketing concept uh, thin line of gap everyone thin line of gap okay now then we have is formulate formulating overall marketing strategy formulating overall marketing strategy means it can the marketing strategy can be formulated into these three first basic assumption should be made then strategic goals for goal and profitability should be made then should be achievement of goals not that important but yeah fine so let's keep it uh, this much uh, for now before i go ahead the next uh, video will be about the human resource planning and i think we will have uh, human resource planning and one more re video about the last point that is spr and bpr spu and bpr that's that's an important uh, point or th that's an important question so uh, please make sure that you what do you do you revise rewind and refresh yourself come back again with my new video you can just check on the new videos there please put on your like you know <clears throat> subscription please do the subscribe it please like it please share it give your and useful happy bad good uh, jolly mood whatever remarks you want to please put it but because it it gives you gives us a very uh way of serving you in a better way okay so bye bye happy happy day smile well do not worry you know everything in exam you can do well 
chill your mind and come sit for the class or watch the class and then continue with the scanners okay try to complete as many questions you can do and now we have got also the mtps try to resolve those mtps also bye bye take care uh, meet you in the next video of mine tata -ta.